Hey, what's up everybody? Primus122 here, bringing you another video, and this kicks off my new schedule that I'm trying to do. Uh, uh, trying. <laughs> so my new schedule that I'm trying to do is every Saturday is going to be this type of video, a news roundup, and you'll see more of what I mean by that um, as we get into the video. Every Sunday and Tuesday, um, I'll do either a mini Transformers lore video or an editorial. Um, a mini Transformers lore video, sort of like any other Transformers lore video, only, um, you know, just shorter. Um, they'll cover any topics from specific wars to really anything. <laughs> yeah, really anything's on the table. I just won't do full, like, storylines and stuff like that, like I do with the main Transformers lore stuff. The normal-sized ones. So that's Sundays and Tuesdays. Thursdays are when the normal Transformers lore stuff is supposed to come out. Um, now, uh, I took all this time off so I could work on a backlog of videos so I can meet this schedule, but I still haven't finished one full lore video. So this Thursday, it's actually going to be a Best of Primus Prime 22 compilation. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, I really hope I can keep up with the schedule. I hope you guys like the content I produce. And, uh, let's get, uh, let's, oh, let's just get into the news roundup. Now this news roundup is for any fictional events that happen in um, the Transformers multiverse. I'm not covering toys, I'm not covering or like conventions and all that, just covering things that have an effect on the multiverse and you know new stuff that comes up and it's not just Transformers, it's anything in the multiverse. The only one thing I won't be covering just yet that's in the multiverse is the G.I. Joe Ameri uh, A Real American Hero comic because I haven't caught up with it yet. So let's start with the Japanese G1 cartoon universe. So what, what new stuff came out this week? Well, they released Magna Convoy Part 2, uh, the comic, and um, we get to see the battle for the Matrix Sword continue, and at the end, uh, Straxus reveals something about himself. So yeah, go check that out. All the links to most of the stuff are in, this, in the description. By the way, if I don't cover anything that you feel might be covered, uh, I pick what I want to cover at my discretion. Don't say like, you didn't cover the Transformers Robots in Disguise commercial number 15, Primus. I don't want to cover that. <laughs> also in the Japanese G1 universe, um, some characters involved are in the more recent Legends manga scans that were released on Sabertron, but we've already had those for a little while, so. And what about the American G1 cartoon universe? Well, we have some audio from SOS... Dinobots and Fire in the Sky, the season one episodes that were, um, you know, left on the cutting room floor. So, yeah, we got some more audio from that. Nothing real groundbreaking here. Now, the IDWG1 universe, even though no comics came out this week, which usually the comics are probably going to take up most of this segment, most of this, these sort of news roundups, um, a really big news story came from the IDW stuff, and that is um, the More Than Meets the Eye issue one excerpts. There were some things in the original draft that didn't make it to the original, to the official release. Um, one of the things was Whirl was at the launch um, with Rung and then shot his collection. Uh, so that would make him more of a jerk in my eyes. Kind of glad that he wasn't there. Kind of glad Rung can still keep his collection around in the comics. <laughs> Skids was with Ratchet during the launch and I thought that was pretty interesting. Although I like how they've introduced Skids in the actual comic. Now, The Lost Light's original name was The Infinite Wisdom, which, um, <laughs> I think that's a horrible name for a ship. Just a horrible name. And if you're trying to say, like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a commentary, it's a literary element, no, you don't make something like that that obvious. Like, What was it, the weak, anth weak Anthropic Principle? I think that's a better name than Infinite Wisdom. <laughs> Cyclonus would join the people on the ship during the launch. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't have any hard feelings about that, but Rewind originally was going to transform into a document scanner. <laughs> I think I like the USB mode, or the memory disk or whatever. Memory drive, a lot better than a document scanner. Interested to see how a rewind that would turn into a document scanner would look like. For the movie universe, we got three new Last Night trailers. Uh, they just rearranged stuff from the original trailer. They also released a new still image from the set. Um, a lot of human characters and a, you know, Cybertronian type background. I don't have much to say on that. Rob Liefeld has had an interview 
um, about the transform about the Hasbro shared universe and the Transformer shared universe. And um, he said some because his extreme cinematic universe is coming up. And um, he said something that I thought was pretty interesting. He said that they uh, they gave him this huge Transformers Bible, and um, that they're going to be drawing information from. And I hope um, there's a video coming up about my thoughts of continuity in the Michael Bay universe. And I hope that Bible took into account the comics and stuff. And you'll see on the release on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. That's when that's when that video is coming out. The first editorial. So. Yeah, I think I think a Transformers Bible is an excellent idea. Um, I just hope they didn't make stuff make stuff up and ignore previous continuity. What well, what can you do? So that covers everything for this news roundup. Um, I I hope to get better at these as time goes on. So yeah, favorite story was the more than meets the eye excerpts because we got some a lot of interesting information from that even though it's not official canon and stuff like that. But it's interesting. It's interesting. Let me know what uh, you guys think about these news stories in the comments below. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you have not yet. Follow me on Twitter for updates. Uh, go subscribe to my second channel and the Laser Koalas, my group channel. And, um, yeah, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm